Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a bit different than we usually do. So it is Halloween. Happy Halloween everybody. And uh, someone commented and was like that I was too pretty to be scary. Most people would take this as a compliment, but I I take it as a challenge. Um, I can be scary. I can. I can be whatever I want to be and I want to be scary. So today we are doing a scary cosplay. We are transforming to Ryuk from Death Note. So if you guys think that you want to see this transformation because it's going to be grand, then uh, just keep watching. First, I start out by using a primer. I use the primer by e.l.f. to protect my skin from all of the makeup I'm going to put on. Then I use my face paint crayons to sketch out the mouth for this look. Then I to use my cream face and body paint to draw the rest of this look to fill in all of the colors. It works very well and I got that on Amazon. The link will be below. So I'm just using that to draw in the teeth roughly and fill in the dark space as well. Then I switch brushes to get into the smaller spaces. I get a thinner, more angled brush to get into the smaller spaces to um, really carve out the teeth. Next, I the blue from the cream colors and draw the lips of the mouth on the outside of what I've already sketched. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm back in with the white and filling in the teeth best I can. Nothing too fancy. Um, we're going to clean it up later. Here I'm taking the black crayon again to sketch out the dark parts of where the eyes are. And as I was doing this, I realized that the crayons didn't work really well with the filling in. So I switched back to the cream body paint. Remember that the first sketch is going to be rough, but we're going to clean it up later with the white paint. Now we're taking a yellow to draw in the yellow parts of his eyes. Once again, I realized that the crayons did not fill in as well as the body paint. So I switched back to the cream body paint after. Next, as a reminder, you can use translucent powder to set the entire face. You can also use eyeshadow the color of the a body paint to set the body paint as well. Next, I'm drawing the widow's peak on because I don't have a wig that has a widow's peak. Next, I have the different options for doing the white part of the look. Um, so you can either use the white face paint from like the Halloween store or you can use the cream body paint that I'm using for the entire look that once again I got on Amazon and it worked fabulously. And 
And the next part, I used the Halloween store face paint. And uh, you really have to layer this on. So I'm putting on the first layer and then I'll add a second layer and maybe a third layer later. The small angled brush works really well to get around the edges. And I use a beauty sponge to spread the product over my face like that. And it makes it look so good. So because I did red contact lenses, I decided to do the eyelids as the eyeballs in this look. And it's much easier than um, doing contact lenses. Um, you can just draw it on there and it looks good. I think it looks good. Here I'm using shadow the same color as the face paint to set it. I thought that it would look better with a darker back color, so I added in some black and really dark brown. Now I'm scrunching up my face to add in those little details to make me look mean and scary like Ryuk. Here I'm just drawing in the details on the neck to make me look all old and crinkly. I'm trying to add detail as possible to make my neck area look really old and crinkly. Here I'm putting on getting ready for my wig that ended up not being ready. Um, I put it in this pony and it didn't stay. So I had to gel it up and blow dry it to get it to stay up. See, it didn't stay up initially, but then I went back with the blow dryer and some gel and put a scarf on and boom, there it is. I DIY my shoulder boards. Obviously, they look kind of janky because I got them from the dollar store and hot glued it all together. I got my death note off of Amazon that will be linked below as well. And here is my finished cosplay. I got everything from the thrift store for about and the chain I got from Amazon and I will link that below as well. I really guys enjoyed my super easy Ryuk cosplay for Halloween. I told you I can be scary and I think I look pretty scary to me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and thanks for watching.